Hello, hello, at welcome sa ating ganito pala series. Today, pag-uusapan natin ang theory of cognitive development ng isang Russian psychologist na si Lev Vygotsky at kung paano natin ma-apply ito sa classroom. Vygotsky's theory of cognitive development proposes na ang learning is a social process at ang cognitive development ay shaped by the interactions with more knowledgeable others. Vygotsky introduced ang concept ng zone of proximal development o tinatawag nating ZPD, which is the gap between ano yung kayang gawin ng learners on their own at kung ano ang kaya niyang gawin kapag may assistance o tulong galing sa ibang tao. Ayon kay Vygotsky, Nangyayari ang learning kapag ang estudyante ay nakatanggap ng guidance and support from a more knowledgeable other, katulad ng teacher, parent, or peer. Ang guidance na ito can take many forms, katulad ng modeling, scaffolding, or feedback. Through these interactions, students are able to move galing sa current level of understanding nila to a more advanced level. May maraming important implications ang theory of cognitive development ni Vygotsky sa education. Teachers can use Vygotsky's ideas to design learning experiences that promotes social interactions at inaalay, inaalayan ang development ng cognitive abilities ng mga estudyante. One way to apply Vygotsky's ideas in the classroom ay sa pamamagitan ng collaborative learning. By working in groups, pwedeng matuto ang mga estudyante sa isa't isa and provide feedback and support sa kanilang mga kaklase. Ang approach na ito can be particularly effective sa ZPD where students can receive guidance from a more knowledgeable other. Another way to apply Vygotsky's ideas is through scaffolding. Scaffolding refers to the support that a teacher provides to a student as they learn a new concept or skill. Ang support na ito can take many forms, katulad ng breaking a task into smaller steps, providing prompts or cues, or modeling the desired behavior. By providing scaffolding, teachers can help students move from their current level of understanding to a more advanced level. Finally, pwedeng magamit din ang ideas ni Vygotsky to promote metacognition. Ano naman ang metacognition? Ito ang ability to reflect on one's own learning and think about kung paano ito i-improve. Kapag tinutulungan ang mga estudyante to become aware of their own thought processes and encouraging them na mag-reflect on their learning, teachers can support the development of students' cognitive abilities. In conclusion, ang theory of cognitive development ni Lev Vygotsky ay pinapakita ang role ng social interactions in learning. By understanding this theory, teachers can design learning experiences that promote social interactions and support the development of students' cognitive abilities. Thank you for listening. At kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, ay pa-share naman sa mga kaibigan mo. Meron din tayong mga practice tests sa channel na ito. Hanapin ang mga tanong about zone of proximal development o cognitive development ni Vygotsky and see kung may nakuha ba kayo sa micro-lesson na ito. Paalam at ingat.